Hey everyone, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs, and I'm back with a new video that is going to help you in your RBS heavy NABARD as well as banking examinations at the level of PO. So let's quickly begin with this video. But before that, if you are a newcomer here, then do not forget to subscribe our channel. And an important piece of information for you is that you can get the PDF of this session on our Telegram group. The link of that group is in description below. So now let's begin our first question of the day. Uh, which is about a mission for land reforms. So, which state has launched Mission Basundra for streamlining land revenue services and facilitating easy access to the public for their land related work? So, here, what is the right answer? The right answer is Assam. Assam has launched this initiative that aims to promote uh, less governance, promote less government more governance that is the motto that we are following so this mission is a step towards that direction only so what this mission aims to do basically this mission first of all will digitalize the services the land revenue services and land related work that for which the farmers had to visit the government offices now they can access all of the, those services by using the online portal developed under the mission Basundara by the state government of Assam. Okay, so that is the first thing. Now second thing is that they will streamline the land revenue services for the government also. Okay, and uh, facilitating easy access to the public for their land related work so it will reduce unnecessary visits of the farmers or the landholders to the government offices and it empowers the public to resolve their land related issues online in a hassle-free manner a total of rupees 225 crores will be spent on the implementation of this program and this will enable the rebuilding of all lost land records of the state okay so this is the third aim under this uh, mission Basundara that they will reinstate, they will rebuild the lost land records and this will help in resolving the land the, uh, disputes at a large scale in the state. Mission Basundara strives for total digitization of maps and integration of maps and land records of Assam under the Digital India Land Records Modernization Program. So this is an easy point I guess. Now let's move on to the next question. Which district does the GI tag Idayur Chile belong to? So clearly from the name itself, it belongs to a state from the South India. But here the state has not been asked from you, the district has been asked. So this clearly implies that you don't have to put attention only to the states, but shift your focus to the district's exact place as well, guys, because this can also be asked in your examination. And this is a sample of that also only. Okay, so which district is it? It is Mallapuram district in Kerala. Okay, so here this Idayur chili is grown and this chili has got the GI tag recently. But this is not alone. It has a slew of other products as well who have got the GI tags. So let's have a look at them. So as you can see, it's a list of products that have got the GI tag recently. Idayur chili from Mallapuram district. Kutia Tur, mango, uh, mango, which are also known as Nambiar Manga, Kannapuram Manga, Kunji Mangalam Manga, and Vada Kumbhagam Manga from Kannur district in Kerala. So, two products from Kerala. One is Ediyur Chili and second is Kutia Tur, Mango. If I am pronouncing it wrong, then please guys forgive me for that. White onion from Alibag Raiga district in Maharashtra and Vada Kolam rice which are also known as Jini rice here. You have to remember the other names of these um, products which have got the GI tags, okay. So Jini rice from Palghar district in Maharashtra. So again two products from Maharashtra. Then Chinnur rice from Balaghat district in Madhya Pradesh. So this is the first crop that has got the GI tag from the state of Madhya Pradesh, okay. So that was all about the GI tag product. With which bank has Indian Navy partnered to launch NAV e-cash card? Punjab National Bank, Bank of Maharashtra, State Bank of India, Canada, HDFC. 
so here the right answer is state bank of india now what is this nef e cash card so basically nef stands for navy e cash stands for the card that will enable online and offline services now what is the meaning of this so basically the meaning of this card is uh, clear from the purpose of this card so this card has been launched in order to facilitate online services uh, or we can say in other words in order to remove the hassle of carrying the physical cash now you should also be aware of this thing that navy personnel do not get every service at the ship for free they have to pay for it for example if you want to eat the food at the mess within the ship okay so when the ship is sailing in the when the officer is on duty when the ship is sailing then if you want to eat food you have to pay for it okay so every service provided on board the ship is paid and for that in order to pay for those services the personnel had to carry cash with themselves now that hassle has been removed with this card now they can access the services by using this e navy card or nav e cash card okay now it will facilitate both types of payments online and offline online payments will uh, consist of your upi etc and this card will facilitate your offline payments as well because at high sail areas in the sea you won't find networks properly therefore offline payment structure has also been inculcated in this card that is the whole purpose of this nav e cash card so this is again reiterated here that it will obviate the difficulties faced by personnel on board in handle, handling physical cash during deployment of the ship at the high seas okay it has a dual chip technology that facilitates both both online and offline transactions the concept will be replicated at other ships as well now also remember that this card was launched or basically the launch ceremony took place at the ins uh Visha vikramaditya not vishakhapatnam vikramaditya is the right thing okay so on the ship of vikramaditya itself the launch event took place next is who has become the brand ambassador of coin dcx the right answer is amita bachan guys fintech is a very important segment okay so fintech is something on which the government as well as rbi is laying us laying we can say very much focus okay it is very much focused on the fintech segment therefore it is your responsibility to keep a track of new technologies that are coming up in the finance sector for example you had a question on nfts in your nabard examination so those who have appeared for nabard phase 1 would know it very well that there was a question on nft in the exam now coin dcx it is basically a crypto platform so i am just saying that keep your eyes open to the new technologies that are coming up in the financial sector okay now as far as this platform is concerned so it has appointed amita bachan as its brand ambassador moving on to the last question which country hosted the global fintech fest 2021 world's largest virtual fintech fest so here the right answer is india india hosted this best it was in the uh, month of september at the end of september it was held the theme of this fest is very important fintech empowering a global digital economy organizers of this fest were national payment council of india fintech convergence council of internet and mobile association of india so these were the organizers of this fest during the fest NPCI has partnered with Yes Bank to enable the rupee on the go facility so this is basically a feature via basic through which you can make payments for an amount of up to 5000 by using your iot accessories internet of things accessories for example your smart watch okay your bands the smart bands that are there so these kinds of accessories will now help you in making your payments and that payment should be within rupees 5000 limit so that is the whole crux of this rupee on the go facility that has been launched by npci and you, uh, yes bank okay so guys that was all for today i hope that you have enjoyed the session and if you have learned something new then do subscribe the channel and like this video thank you